hiyo ni ngumu dadadunku yangu hiyo si kazi explain ngumu yes it's a little bit challenging because uh, it goes with those who know i mean understand that sign language who can speak it but to me I've, i don't have any i mean a bit of knowledge about it okay i, I don't know a lot of sign language oh is <laughs> this actually gives a hint as to how most Kenyans are unaware that there is a group of persons in the country who communicate in a special way. And this is actually how you describe President Uhuru Kenyatta to a deaf person. Our President, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, his sign name is a U because when you are spelling his name is H U H U U H U R U. You use your two fingers, so his sign is a U. Interaction with those who are deaf is a challenge and has forced many to attend classes to master the sign language. But what if you could learn basic sign language without stepping foot into a classroom? Meet Hudson Asiema, who is an IT specialist, software developer app developer and is also deaf. He has developed a software and an app to aid anyone learn basic sign language in Kenya with a basic sign language dictionary. Here is why he created the app. The reason why I developed it was because in Kenya right now we do not have any platform where sign language is documented online or offline. So I developed it so that we have different uh, applications that can be used to showcase the language. Just like you have dictionaries and different materials in spoken languages, this was one for sign language. Developed late last year, financed by a grant, he won in a competition organized by the ICT authority. Asiema has created an application for three platforms. First, the Kenya Sign Language Online Plus, which helps you learn basic sign language using a computer or a tablet on the net. For the online, it's for towns and people who have access. But the content of the material is the same, the same language, the same infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Online version is available on the internet. It's available on different application stores and you can get it on the internet. But the second is the Kenya Sign Language Fingerspelling, a downloadable free Android app this helps you learn how to count numbers and spell the alphabet letters. You'll get into the actual application and it will show you the different letters of the alphabet A, B, and C, and also D. Or you can choose to do the different uh, practice. For example, you can press on any of the letters like K, and then it shows you what the sign is. To date, more than 500 people have downloaded the app. To make it fun, you even have a mini quiz to grade your performance. And because not everyone has access to the internet, Asiema has also developed an offline version, a basic sign language dictionary software. This comes with preloaded videos to show you how to describe words. The first thing would be, for example, if you wanted to search for the sentence or the word how, you type it in and then you click on the video and then on your right it shows you the video. If, for example, you wanted to type in a word like niece, it shows you no results found. That means the video for that word is not available. This can also be used in schools in remote places to teach pupils basic sign language. As CMA says the software could be preloaded in the laptops that the government plans to offer school-going pupils. We are thinking in future to expand the development of the dictionary to include, for example, for children, we'll put like a quiz. So for example, it has different pictures asking what is the sign for father and then it gives you different options or choices that you can look at and decide which is the correct one and that will be a fun way to help children and then the other 
option is for schools that already have computers it will be easy you just install the dictionary into each of the computers and then they can use it whenever they access the computers emerging challenge is creating the sign language database given the variations due to geographical locations to address this he says further development is being done to the systems to ensure anyone is able to upload signs to increase word database when there are new signs we will go back and create the video and then add it to the dictionary and then if people suggest those words or something we might get the video from them and then maybe decide on the best two or the best three videos that we can use to upload now it is estimated that at least 1 million persons in the country are deaf this makes communication with the majority very difficult and it is through applications such as this basic sign language dictionary that will bridge this communication gap ronaldo willy for tech zone